Apply data science with Python specialization. Currently, it's in the top 10 most popular data science programs on Coursera. And it has impressive numbers. Almost 400,000 people have already enrolled in it. And there are over 25k reviews. So, is it as good as it seems at first glance? Or are there any better options online? My name is Daniel, and in this video we will talk about Applied Data Science with Python Specialization from the University of Michigan. I will do a course overview, we will look at the course content, we will talk about price and certification, and we will discuss career opportunities this program offers. As always, we will take a look at student reviews and I will offer my own opinion on it. Guys, I will drop all the course-related links in the description below, so feel free to check them out after watching this video. Alright, let's go! Course Overview Python stands out as the go-to programming language for data scientists and machine learning engineers. Why? It's user-friendly, versatile and has plenty of great libraries. Plus, it's intuitive and easy to learn. And are you wondering about the course that will teach you how to apply Python in data science? Well, I have a great suggestion for you today. Applying data science with Python specialization is brought to you by the University of Michigan. Actually, this is one of the best universities for data science in the United States and globally. That's why you know you will learn from experts and not random people with no credentials. It's not as big as some other specialization and certification programs on Coursera. This one includes 5 courses and will take about 4 months to complete. Of course, that's provided you spend at least 10 hours per week learning. So guys, what will you learn here? If you enroll in this specialization program, you will dive into data science using the Python programming language. Also, what I really like about it is it gets quite heads-on with popular tools like Pandas, Matplotlib, Scikit-Learn and NetworkX. Some things you will explore here are statistical analysis, machine learning, information visualization, text analysis and social network analysis. There are one important thing to note about this program. It's highly recommended that you take the first three courses in the order suggested. But you can take course 4 and 5 in any order. Just remember that you will only get University of Michigan completion certificate only after you complete all 5 courses. Instructors The teachers for this specialization program are computer science and data science professionals. They are all professors at the University of Michigan. The leader of this top-level professional team is Christopher Brooks. He is a research assistant professor in the School of Information at the University of Michigan. His research centers on the application of learning analytics to human-computer interaction, utilizing educational data mining, machine learning and information visualization. And it's great to see there are educators and experts who join forces to teach you. Enrollment requirements Folks, there is one important thing to note here. This specialization program isn't for beginners. It's designed for learners with intermediate level skills. What that means is that you should have at least some basic knowledge of Python, statistics and discrete math. No, you don't have to be a pro at any of these things. But you should have some basic understanding in these areas. That's why if you are a complete newbie, you should take a more beginner-friendly program before enrolling in this one. But if you have some basic math and statistics skills and can write Python programs, then this specialization is suitable for you. Course content Guys, before you move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Alright, and now let's take a closer look at what kind of content this course series offers. Like I said, guys, it includes 5 courses. Let's talk about them in more detail. Introduction to Data Science in Python In this course you will dive into Python for data science. You will start with the basics like lambda functions, reading files and working with CSV data. You will also get heads-on with essential libraries like NumPy for math and Pandas for handling CSV files. Apply plotting, charting and data representation in Python. Once you have finished studying Python basics and handling data, it's time to visualize and understand your data better. And this course is all about that. You will use libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn to create plots and charts. 
you will also learn when to use different types of visualizations. Applied Machine Learning in Python. In this course, you will dive into machine learning, focusing on supervised learning techniques. With the Scikit-Learn library, you will start with the basics exploring classification models. After that, you will step into supervised learning covering concepts like logistics, regressions and support vector machines. Plus, you will learn how to evaluate your machine learning model and much more. Apply text mining in Python. Guys, in this course you will explore how machines like Siri or Google Assistant understand and respond to human language. You will cover text mining, the basics of natural language processing and use the NLTK library. You will also learn about text classification and topic modeling. And finally, apply social network analysis in Python. People, this is the last course in the program. You will learn about social network analysis using the Network X library. In addition to that, you will learn about different types of networks, analyze their connections and explore the importance of nodes in a network. Plus, you will look into how networks evolve over time. So, as you can see, guys, this program might not be very big, but it's packed with some serious content. And it's not all about theory. There are quizzes, programming assignments, labs and peer-graded assignments. In other words, you will get plenty of opportunities to get heads-on. And folks, I am glad to see that students can get practical with it. In my opinion, there is no better way to learn than to learn by doing. <laughs> Pricing and certification Alright guys, and now let's answer an important question. What's the deal with the cost of this specialization program? Well, it's on Coursera, so it's not free. You will need a monthly subscription to dive into it. But there is good news too, it's part of Coursera Plus. That means with the subscription you will get access to a bunch of other courses without extra charges. Keep in mind people, Coursera pricing might shift. That's why check the actual price on the platform. Now about certification. Once you successfully finish the entire specialization, the University of Michigan provides you a career certificate. And it's definitely a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But guys, let's be real. In my opinion, the knowledge you gain here has much more value. Career opportunities Ok, let's discuss another big question. Does completing this course guarantee you a job? Alright, this specialization won't magically land you a high-paying job. Because it's a small specialization course designed to give you a deeper insight into applying Python for data science. Now, don't get me wrong. It gives you some solid knowledge and useful skills. But to secure a job, you may need to additionally sharp your skills. And, of course, don't underestimate the power of preparing for interviews. It can make a significant impact. Student reviews Alright, guys, let's take a look at what students say about this specialization program. Like I said at the beginning of this video, there are over 25,000 reviews. The general rating for this program is 4.5 out of 5. Now, I have to say, the majority of reviews for this course series are quite positive. Students like the way the course teachers deliver the material, the practical tasks and the challenges it offers. Here is one of the 5-star reviews. So, I passed all modules in the whole specialization and received the certificate. This is by far the best course and the reason for this is the instructor. Daniel Romero is great at explaining the concepts, expresses himself clearly and uses lots of examples which help immensely. The programming assignments are actually fun to solve. The instructors are clear and well formulated. I know what is expected and can focus on doing data science. I think the assignments were not too easy. To me, the difficulty was just right. But I found some criticism too. Some students know that the program is sometimes hard to get through. Extremely detailed and challenging course. The assignments require a lot of thinking and skill. Gives a comprehensive overview of social network analysis and a good way for any novice Python coder to improve their skills. So, guys, like I said earlier, this isn't the course for complete beginners. That's why you should come prepared. Is Supply Data Science with Python specialization worth it? 
Finally, we get to the last question of this video. Would it make sense to invest your time, effort and money into this program? Honestly, I think it would be great for those who want to give their skills a level up. Considering the depth of information covered and the organized approach to teaching practical data science with Python, it's definitely worth it. The certification program is well-structured, detailed and heads-on. On the other hand, if you are new to data science and Python, you should probably pick a more beginner-friendly course. Alright, my friends, that's all about the applied data science with Python specialization from the University of Michigan. I left useful links in the description below, make sure to check them out. Don't forget to like this video, thanks for watching, until next time.